What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Will, and we back. We are finally back. This is the first video I am back on this channel. Now, I've been away for a couple months on this this channel, um, but I haven't been away from YouTube at all in the last couple months. I've been posting on my other channel. It's called Will to Win. Go subscribe to that channel if you want to learn how to make money out in out here as an entrepreneur if you want to learn how to be a gig worker if you want to learn how to get get to the bag and get successful making money go subscribe to that channel will to win i'm dropping every week two to three videos a week for y'all but we're back on the basketball now as y'all notice a lot has happened okay for instance i cut my hair you know rated one through ten you know, I, it's definitely a relief off my shoulders. I needed to cut my hair. I feel like it was my tip is all the way back here, okay? But let's get into the basketball. The basketball season starts tomorrow, okay? I have a lot in store for y'all for content-wise for this channel, okay? We're not going to be doing the regular, regular videos that we've been doing before, me talking about my commentary. I'm going to do a little bit of that, okay? But did. I'm expanding my content. I've done a lot of thinking, a lot of working behind the scenes on really how to improve this content for my basketball channel. I promise y'all, I have so much in store for y'all. So stay tuned. Y'all want the... I appreciate y'all really still rocking with me despite me not posting. So if y'all new to the channel, subscribe because I'm going to be dropping every week on, on this basketball channel. Now, I've done too much talking. ESPN dropped their their trash, you know, top 100 list again. You know, ESPN they 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 never fail to to ne not disappoint on you know ranking the top 100 players in the NBA going to the 2024-2025 season. So we're gonna dive into this and talk about and get my thoughts on who should be who, what the re list really looks like and just give my reaction. We're gonna start with the 50. But actually, we're gonna start with forty-five, okay? Because I I, I I looked at the list a little bit. I didn't I didn't know who was between top ten though. So let's start at forty-five, okay? Now at forty-six, we have Porzingis, okay? Forty-five. Hold on. Forty-five, we have Demar Derozan, okay? He's on. He's on the Kings now. I want to see how that, how that's gonna work out. I, I, how that duo between Darren Fox, Demar Derozan, Demonte Sabonis, with Keegan Murray, is gonna work out. And Malik Monk. I want to see. I want, I'm curious as how that's gonna work out. I'm glad he he's out of Chicago though. I am. Ooh, 44 J, J Dub. They gave love to J Dub. J Dub has really improved, man. He's one of my favorite young players in the league. He's coming off a great okay uh OKC season, right? And he really impressed. And he's gonna improve even more this year. So I expected him to go get up to 35 this year. 43. DeJounte Murray. Now, DeJounte Murray got traded to the New Orleans Pelicans. He's in a better situation, okay, than he is in Atlanta because Atlanta, we knew him and Trey Young is not going to work out. So, they had to trade him, right? He got Zion. He got CJ McComb. He got Brandon Ingram, okay? We're going to see how that Pelicans team, if they stay healthy, they should be really good, okay? But this has to keep the aim. They say healthy. Siakam. At 42. Last year, he was ranked 25. That's a huge drop-off. Okay. He's on the Pacers. And he has been balling on the Pacers. They got to the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, credit. A lot has to do with injury. With their with the Indiana Pacers run to the Eastern Conference Finals. But they got, at least got there. Okay. That's still impressive. But Siakam, I expect Siakam to get to at least like round 35, 34, 33. James Harden, 41. Well, he's going to put up a lot of points. 
he better because Kawhi's injured. There's no Paul George no more. Forty one is not bad. He's still a top forty five player in the league. He's James Harden, so they're not gonna disrespect him all the way. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at. It. He was forty three last year. They say he improved a little bit. So we'll see. Forty Brandon Ingram, no problems there. Derek White at not thirty nine. Huh. Derek White had a great year. Obviously, they won a championship. He was a great role addition. Like he was one of the best role additions for the team. Is he better than? Let's go. Let's go back at this. Is he better than Brian Ingram? Is he better than James Harden? Is he better than Siakam? I don't know about that. I will put him where Jadonte Murray's at. Probably 43-42. Mikael Bridges at 38. No problems there. I love that he he's on the Knicks now. I want to see how great the Knicks team is going to be. Trey Young at 37. Interesting. Interesting. That's a big drop off of Trey Young. Now... A little spoiler alert. I'm going to be going to these Hawks games, okay? I've been going to these Hawks games before. So, I, I'm I'm live watching how Trey Young plays, okay? This is how Trey Young plays. He's either going to do three things. He's going to drive to the paint, draw a foul every time. He's going to drive to the paint, get a floater every time. Or he's going to hezzy pull step back. Those are his three moves. So, Trey Young is kind of predictable. There's teams that's figuring out how Trey Young plays. And they stop and they're making him turn the ball over a lot more. Right? He's still Trey Young. He's still really good. But, in order for the Hawks to really be successful this year, Trey Young has to have a breakout season. And that's crazy to say because Trey Young is really good. Okay, he's putting up great numbers, but that don't mean nothing. It got to be your impact on the team and win, winning games. So we're going to see. 37, we'll see. Drew Holiday at 36. Drew Holiday is finally getting his respect that he deserves. One of the most underrated players in the league for years. Okay, finally, he's getting the respect he deserves. Two-time champ. He should be a defensive player. I mean, like, come on, man. He's one of the best defensive players in the league. Like, they kept... They keep giving it to Boop, to Booty, Gobert every year. Stop it. Scotty Barnes at 35. That's a crazy jump up. He deserves it. Scotty Barnes has been really good. Okay. Is Toronto going to be real good? No. But he's been real good. Booty, Gobert, 34. Whatever. I'm honestly not. I mean, whatever, man. I, I mean, he is a. Uh, Lord, yeah, he's not better than Lori Markin. Thank you. I like that. He's not better than Chet. And, and Chet, that's a crazy jump up also. That's a crazy jump up. Okay. Chet, I think he's going to improve even more this year. Okay. I've been seeing him all, hooping in the offseason with some, some good players, some G League players. He's been really out there like improving on his game. I've been seeing him hooping with KD in all season. He is really like that. You cannot leave him open. Okay? Jamal Murray at 31. From 17 to 31, Jamal Murray. Now, what has he done to really drop that low? Mm, I don't know about 31. I think he's a little higher than that. We got to see 30 players better than Jamal Murray, okay? A player that he's he's so good that he don't really need, he doesn't, I don't, has he even made the all-star team? Like, it's insane how underrated he is. I don't think he's made the all-star team. He shows up when it matters most. That's what makes Jamal Murray great, okay? 31. I think he's a he's a top twenty outside top twenty five player outside of it. Cat, 
30. I think that's a perfect ranking for Cat. He should, as you know what? Nah. He should be a little higher. He should, Cat should be a little higher. Cat has really, he balled out. I was very, very impressed with him. How he defended Jokic, okay? In that series. And he was, he was the key player in game seven. He was the reason why they won that game seven. Down the stretch, he was huge. Him and Nasri. Sabonis. Sabonis had an amazing year. He led the lead in double doubles and triple doubles over Jokic. Okay? I like this ranking. I like this ranking. 29. Yeah, he did have a drop off. He was 22 last year. Okay? That's crazy for him to average. For him to really have a double double and a triple double, like lead the lead in both of them, and drop that goal. Let's see, twenty eight players better than him. Jimmy B at twenty eight from twelve is crazy. Now we know why, okay. But twenty eight players better than Jimmy. Let's see, twenty seven Zion. Hmm. Zion better than Jimmy? That's a tough one. It's like they're two different two different players. Ah, nah. I think I'd rather have Jimmy. It's crazy. Yeah, I'd rather have Jimmy if I want to win. And that's crazy to say. That's crazy to say. But Zion's just too. He has to stay healthy. He has to stay healthy. I know he lost a lot of weight. I know he's looking to get his redemption season, but so is Jimmy. We're going to see. All right, that's a toss-up. De'Aaron Fox at 26. I like that. De'Aaron Fox is, is dope. One of the best point guards in the league. One of the best guards in the league, okay? Kyrie at 25. And here we go. The BS. Listen, y'all. Uh, let me get some. Let me get that. Did y'all see what Kyrie do, did in the playoffs this year? Did 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 y'all do y'all watch the games? ESPN. Name twenty four players better than Kyrie Irving right now. Name them. Now, obviously, the name on the list. We're gonna we're gonna dissect this. I don't even need to s- s- talk about what Kyrie did this season. Okay, we're just gonna go down the list. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna write, we're, gonna, we're gonna speed this up a little bit. Paulo Banner Kyrie, hell no. And, lo- and Paulo is a great player. I love Paulo. Paulo should be where he was last year. Actually, matter of fact, let's go up a little bit. Paulo should be where Zion's at. No matter of fact, no. Paulo should be where Cat's at. Switch Cat and Paulo around. Switch that around. I don't believe Paulo is better than Cat yet. Not yet. Paulo is rising, okay? But he is not better than Cat. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to pretend like I didn't see nothing right now. All right. Kawhi, Dame, Dame at 23, <sighs> I love Dame, I, y- y'all know D- Dame is one of my favorite players, man, he had a tough year, he had a tough year with Milwaukee, but it is his first year in Milwaukee, so I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him a break, he's not better than Kyrie right now, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not. I think Dame should be where Kyrie's at. Yeah, Dame should be where Kyrie's at. Kawhi, 22. I have no comment about Kawhi, okay? When healthy, Kawhi is a top... Fit, he's a top 10 player. When healthy. But that's his problem. He can't say healthy. So I'm not mad at his ranking. PG at 21. PG better than Kawhi. 
Is PG better than Kyrie? I'm taking Kyrie over Paul George, okay? Am I taking Paul George over Kawhi when healthy? No. But I understand why they have Kawhi right there. So, I'm not mad at PG at 21. I love Paul George. John Morant at 20. That's better, but we're going to see. John Morant is going to prove to the world why he deserves to be a top 15, top 10 player. This year. He's going to get his revenge season. Watch. Just watch. Tyrese Matsey at 19. Tyrese had Matsey had um, an incredible year. So, I'm not that mad at them having Tyrese Matsey better right now than John Morant and Kyrie. Actually, I mean, he's not better than Kyrie, okay? But what what they what ESPN is basing on is basing they basing on what he's gonna how he's gonna do this year. That's what they they basing on this list. They basing on how they these players are gonna improve this year also, and they based on from last year to this year. So Tyrese Maxey did have a great season. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna really, I'm gonna leave that one alone. You know what you haven't seen yet. Terry's Halliburton. Bam, 18. That's a perfect ranking for him. Let's see who he has over Bam. Donovan Mitchell, 17. Not mad at that one either. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm going to break this down, y'all. All right. Tyrese Halliburton, incredible year, okay? Up and down, incredible year, though. It was a roller coaster because he started off amazing. Remember when they had the tur- the, the in-season tournament? He got to the finals versus the Lakers, okay? He knocked off Milwaukee. He hit that game-winning shot, okay? And he was talking. While Dane was on the floor, he was talking, right? He was rising. He was that dude. Star in the year. Then he got injured. Okay. Then after he came back, he didn't look the same. He was still good, but he was not having that explosive run that he had when the start of the season, when the end season tournament was around, when he was averaging around 25 points and 11 assists a game. When he came back, he was still averaging around. Was, he was averaging around probably 17 points and still 10 assists. Still good, but he was struggling a little bit to find his rhythm. Then when we got to the playoffs, okay, he got lucky. He went up against a, a hobbled Milwaukee team, which was Giannis. Giannis was injured, okay? So... Dame had to try to carry the whole team, which he couldn't really do. And so that's how then he had to beat that team. Then it was get with against a powerful Knicks team, which Jalen Brunson, incredible run, right? Insane. I, we're gonna get into Jalen Brunson guy, because I know he's he's probably next, right? He got to game seven and he knocked him off. Okay. Then we get to Boston, he got swept. But he did get injured. Tyrese has is definitely the best, best passer in the league. Tyrese is really that guy. But he is not better than Kyrie. Okay? He's not better than Jaw. Okay? Is he better than Donovan Mitchell? Is he better than... He's, I, I, I'll take him slight edge over Tyrese Smash because of impact. But for impact, he's not better than Jaw, and he's not better than Kyrie, in my opinion. Now, 15, Devin Booker. Actually, and again, perfect spot for Devin Booker. I think people are overrating Devin Booker a little too much. Devin Booker is one of the best scorers in the league. And when it when he needs to get a stop, he can defend at a high level. He can't. 
We saw in the Olympics. He can defend at a high level, right? He's definitely improving his defense. The problem with Devin Booker is when it comes playoff time, it seems like he's a little less version of himself. Now, he's still really good in the playoffs. Don't get it wrong. Don't say, oh, he, yo, you saying he chose, no, he, he puts up, still pulled 40. Yes, I get it. And he's playing with KD and Bradley Bill and company. I get it. But I feel like they, they, Phoenix puts too much on Devin Booker. They want him to be the point guard. They want him to be a facilitator. They want him to be the whole team. Which, that's, if he, if he plays a little more off ball, I think he'll be even a top 10 player in the league. Because Devin Booker, when he's shooting that thing, he can shoot that thing. He can score with anybody in the league. Okay? But I feel like Phoenix is asking too much of him. So 15, I think 15 is fine for him. We'll see what what kind of what's 14 players better than Devin Booker, though. Jalen Brown. Yes. I mean, he's finals MVP, right? He got subbed from the Olympics. Crazy, right? And he had an amazing run in, in the playoffs in general. Yes. And he get a fan at a high level. He's probably the best two-way player in the league right now. One of the best. Not even, he's not the best. But he's one of the best two-way players in the league behind Jason Tatum, you know. But... I, he has. He still needs to develop a left hand. He still needs to develop a left hand. But Jalen Brown for sure. Wow. I don't know about this one. Y'all saying there's twelve players better than Anthony Davis? Really? He should be at ten where he looked just like he was last year. What? What's the drop off here? The same kind of numbers? Really? Oh, boy. Here we go. We about to get to the top, boy. Here we go. We about to get to the top 10, y'all. <sighs> okay. Like I said when I was talking about Tyler Halliburton, Jalen Brunson probably had one of the best runs I've ever seen from a guard. In this whole season. not And especially the playoffs. I mean, this man... When I tell y'all... I'm, gonna just, I'm not even going to talk about what he did for numbers-wise. I'm going to break up this. Because I used to be on this app. And I stopped doing it. Prize piss. Do y'all know... This man was... Had an over or under 37 points in the playoffs. Do y'all remember that? It was at least 35 to 37 points. It was over or under. You know how crazy that is? And he was going over every time. He was dropping 40 almost every game in the playoffs. This is how crazy of a run Jalen Brunson had. So, I I like this ranking because he deserves it, right? He deserves to be over, the, over John Morant, Kyrie, Halliburton, Tyree, the Maxi, right now because the run he has at, and now he has an amazing supporting cast. Now I'm excited for the Knicks. We're gonna see how the Knicks be. Able, you know, Knicks look great on paper. But we're gonna see how they cohese with each other to together. You know, as and see how what kind of chemistry they got. All right, eleven. Wimby. People won't say that's very high for Wimby. Man. Wimby's a real deal, y'all. Wimby might be the best player we've ever seen since. As a prospect, since probably LeBron. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I mean, his imp like he could have won defensive player of the year as a rookie. Okay. This man's a walking double double. This man is literally a uh, close to y'all mean height stepping back got a handle got a shimmy bringing the ball up court sometimes P 
pick and roll action where Chris Paul is going to be nasty. And I'm not a fan of Chris Paul. But that is a great pickup for San Antonio. And then off, off the bench or starting, you're going to have... You want to have Stefan Castle, that dog from UConn? San Antonio is going to be a, a sleeper. They're going to be a sleeper. And I need to go to a Spurs Hawks. I need to go to that game. I need to I need to see Wimby live because Wimby is phenomenal. He's phenomenal. Easily rookie, rookie of the year. Um... This year, he's going to improve even more, man. So, I'm not mad at 11. I mean, he might be too high right now. I feel like they should put him probably at 19 or 18, you know. But, we saw last year, I, I don't see no regression. There's nobody stopping Wimby. Nobody. All right, top 10. Y'all ready? Let me let me get, get going, y'all. Top 10. Let me make sure everything's right. All right. You feel me? Um, okay. Should I do early predictions? Nah, you know what? Let's, 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 just, let's just break down this list. Let's see, let's see what ESPN got, man. I mean, it's already a garbage list, like, every year. Let's, let's see what they got. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, they don't even have it. Let me go back. It is 